I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm at our 2018 TPM conference with Mario Cordero, Executive Director of the Port of Long Beach. Great to see you again, Mario. Great to see you. Consumers are expecting things turned around faster and faster. You know, Amazon has changed the game. How do ports keep up? How do we make that need for faster translate? Well, as you referenced, there's a whole mindset now in terms of consumer expectation. Ports have, in past years, talked about efficiency and reliability. Those are key messages that we're continuously working on. But now you have to ha add the word speed. It's paramount that we move that container from ship to shore and out the gate. So it's all about speed now. You can control certain aspects of that, certainly. But what do you do about the areas that you can't control? How can the port get involved to more quickly turn around those containers? One of the things that we've done here in Long Beach, which has been so successful, is working with the stakeholders, facilitating as much as we can whatever given issues, whether it's based on the environmental initiatives and now, of course, Paramount, the operational initiatives. So the networking, engaging with the stakeholders, uh, incentivizing, because at the end of the day, any gateway, and certainly here at Port of Long Beach, it's to all our interests that, again, we stay competitive and we make sure that we have utmost confidence of the American shipper. Now, with the, the port's always been a leader in environmental policies and initiatives, and technology sort of helping that along right now with uh, zero emissions and developments there. What are you most excited about in that space? What I'm most excited about is, we talk about zero emission. There are some commentary out there that the technology is not there. It is here. Absolutely, it's here. Is it ready for a marketplace? Not right now, but we have demonstration projects. So with regard to our environmental goals, our quest for zero emission, we have a lot of comfort in terms of that, those expectations, 2030 for equipment, 2035 for trucks. That gives us a number of years to really tweak this technology. I'm confident we're gonna be able to do that. As it relates to the operational aspects, the technology of what we're doing here at this gateway, the information portal system, uh, and Port Long Beach recently has now engaged now with GE on a pilot project. That technology to get a portal information system so that we share data and as much information so that all the stakeholders have to go to one platform, one portal, and obtain the kind of information to further transparency, further efficiency, and again, it's about speed. And the quicker we do this, again, I think the consumer and the American shipper will be very benefited by this. Thanks for taking time from the conference to sit down with me today, Mario. Thank you, Alexander. I've been speaking with Mario Cordero, Executive Director of the Port of Long Beach.